Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. It's been a little bit of a while since we checked out some M.2 drives. This time Team Group sent over something new. They sent over their brand new Cardia A440 PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 drive for us to check out. And as usual, we put it up against 11 other drives to see how this new drive from Team Group stacks up. Let's jump right in. sent over the one terabyte version of the Cardia A440 but it also comes in a two terabyte version as well and since we don't have the two terabyte version we're only going to be talking about the one terabyte version in this video. Now we did all of the testing with and without the heat sink and this drive thermal throttles a little bit so you're looking at around three to five hundred megs a second so I would definitely recommend using a heat sink with this drive or you can use the included heatsink as well if your motherboard doesn't have one because the motherboard one also suffices too. And in random reads and writes, the difference is within a margin of error with the included heatsink and with the uh, one that's on your motherboard again. Use a heatsink with this drive. The Cardia A440 is Team Group's answer to the WD Black SN850 and the Samsung 980 Pro, and it took Team Group a little bit longer than everyone else, but the wait was really worth it. This drive is really designed for PC enthusiast gamers and content creators who want to get maximum speed, as you're about to see. The one terabyte A440 has random read write performance of around 650K and 750K IOPS respectively. The drive is also fully PCIe Gen 3 capable, but you don't get those Gen 4 speeds. And we did test this and it worked perfectly. It comes with a five year limited warranty and around 700 terabytes written and should give you around 3 million hours of use before any type of failure. And for those out there who are accounting, that's around 342 years of lifespan. On the controller side, it's using the brand new Fizen PS5 018E18 controller, and it's been designed from the ground up to fully take advantage of PCIe 4.0. This new controller is also based on TSMC's 12 nanometer process and is one of the fastest controllers in its class. The drive uses 3D TLC NAND flash and is fully geared towards power users. As far as caching, the one terabyte version that we tested in this video has a DRAM cache and it uses eight gigs of low power DDR4 memory for that DRAM cache. It's also SK Hynix memory, but as usual with these drives, it could vary from drive to drive. As usual, like we do with all of our SSD testing, we've tested it against 12 other M.2 drives that we have available at the moment, and we put it through a crazy amount of testing. And the way we usually do this is, we fill every drive to 50% capacity, then we run five different types of tests 20 times, and we calculate the average speed of those 20 tests conducted. We ran the one gig test, the four gig test, the 16 gig test, the 32 gig test, and 64 gig tests on all 12 drives to give these results some context. However, we decided to only show the one gig, the four gig, and the 64 gig test since we wanted to cut down the length of the video. Metrics like boot times with these drives are an invalid and flawed metric. We don't test it because we found that even with booting from a SATA SSD, it'll give you around the same boot times within a margin of error. And game loading metrics are not very accurate either because it depends on the map, it depends on so many other variables that we just don't find that to be a very accurate measurement. The drives tested in this video are the drives that I have. If I didn't test something, then I just don't have one. So please don't ask why we didn't test a certain drive or why a certain drive tests were shown. We can only test with drives that we have here on hand. So strap yourself in and we're about to get through a lot of information. Now, we do actually have a roundup of all of these new faster gen 4 NVMe drives coming up in July. Team Group claims that this one terabyte version of the Cardia A440 can read up to 7,000 megs a second and write at 5,500 megs a second. But let's see what the story is. There's a lot of variation between all the drives as they come in at different price points for different use cases. 
I think this is a pretty good sample of drives you might actually consider buying from the entry level all the way up to the high end. Now there are an array of other things you need to consider when choosing an M.2 drive as well and they can all be found with a quick Google search. Things like varying amounts of cache, the physical controllers being used on each drive. We've also noticed that even if you're using the same model drive some will have a different revision controller which can affect the performance as well and we actually saw this with a few A data drives last year. Also, there's things like the capacity of the drive with most higher capacity drives performing a lot better. The differences with the physical speed between PCIe Gen 3 and Gen 4 is also a factor and the physical pool of drives but like I said I can only provide you with the information and data that I have available to me directly. We test all of our drives on the exact same test bench to keep everything consistent and as controlled as possible. And as usual take everything that you're seeing with a grain of salt as these are the results that we found. Your own testing may vary. In these tests, it's pretty clear that the Team Group Cardia A440 is one of the fastest single drives that we've ever tested, and it beats out the Samsung drive quite often. Now, the RAID setups that we've done, we didn't include in this video because they're not single drives. However, we do have a RAID Zero video coming with the Cardia A440 because we've got four of these drives. Anyways, the point of the A440 is that it's designed to be one of the fastest single drives on the market, and yeah, it, it's kinda that, but in the right situation. It, it's not quiet. This drive is just about on par with the WD Black SN850 and the Samsung 980 Pro for most use cases other than random access. Now, this drive seems to be as fast as the drives that are in the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, although there's no way to test it on the console. And I wonder if the PS5 designation on the Fizen controller is some way linked to the controller that's on the PS5. Okay, anyway, so what do I think of the Team Group Cardia A440? Is it worth the money? Well, it's pretty uh, subjective based on your use case. If you need raw read and write performance, and that being the sequential version of that, I would say yes. Now, there are options like the WD Black SN850 that would compete in speed. However, at the time of filming, the one terabyte WD Black SN850 is going for around 30 US dollars less than the A440. And the A440 is about the same price as the Samsung 980 Pro. So if you're interested in grabbing the one terabyte Team Group Cardia A440 as shown in this video, it's going for around 229 US dollars at the time of making it. 
There's no word on Australian pricing right now. I'll uh, update the description when we know a little bit more about Aussie pricing. But let me know what you think of this drive and what drives that you guys are using at the moment. I'm always really keen to hear what you guys are using. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on these newer, faster drives. Let me know what you think of, yeah, of this whole Chia thing, pushing up the price of storage. Maybe the mining boom will be dead by the time this video comes out. I think the whole thing now that it's affecting storage is an absolute joke and I just feel like nothing is safe from crypto anymore. And I just have to add this as well. And I say this in every video and I can't believe I have to add this. Team Group did not pay us for this video. They literally sent us a bunch of drives and I decided to do a video about it. I didn't have to do a video about it, so yeah. Anyways guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you hated this video, you know what to do, hit the dislike button twice. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And yeah, let us know what you think about Chia and this whole storage thing. I know that there was storage plotting happening a couple years ago as well, but now it seems to be a big problem. Anyways, thanks for watching.